Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The available image editing tools in Paint appear in the Tools and Brushes button groups in the ribbon of the Paint app window in Windows 11. To use the Pencil tool to draw hard-edged lines in Paint, click the Pencil button in the Tools button group of the ribbon to select it. To set the thickness of the pencil's lines, click the Size drop-down in the Size button group in the ribbon and select the desired line thickness. To set the line color, click the Color 1 button in the Colors button group to select it. Then click to select the desired line color from the smaller color circle choices that appear to its right. Then click and drag in the image canvas to draw with the pencil tool. To draw a straight line, hold down the Shift key on your keyboard as you drag the pencil tool to draw the line. To use the brush tool in Paint, click the drop down part of the brush button in the Brushes button group in the ribbon. Then select the style of brush from the drop down menu. Your brush style selection impacts how you use the brush. For example, you will run out of paint after brushing a single stroke for a time if you select the oil brush or watercolor brush just as you would if using those tools in real life. Similarly, the airbrush responds to the speed of your strokes by adjusting the paint density applied. To set the brush thickness in paint, Click the Size drop-down in the Size button group in the ribbon and select the desired brush thickness. To set the brush color in Paint, click the Color 1 button in the Colors button group to select it. Then click to select the desired color from the smaller color circle choices that appear to its right. Then click and drag in the image canvas to paint with the brush tool. Unlike what its name implies, the Eraser tool in Paint only applies the Color 2 choice onto the image canvas. It doesn't erase pixels. However, since the default Color 2 choice is white, and the default canvas color is white, it often appears to act as an eraser when those conditions are true. To use the Eraser tool in Paint, Click the Eraser button in the Tools button group of the ribbon to select it. To set the thickness of the eraser, click the Size drop-down in the Size button group in the ribbon and select the desired thickness. To set the eraser color, click the Color 2 button in the Colors button group to select it. Then click to select the desired eraser color from the smaller color circle choices that appear to its right. If using the Eraser tool to remove applied colors from other tools, then the selected color should match the canvas color. Then click and drag in the image canvas with the Eraser tool to apply the selected Color to color to the areas over which you click and drag. The Fill tool in Paint applies the selected Color 1 color within the area in the image canvas at which you click up to any adjacent border color. As such, you can use it to quickly apply a color to the canvas, to a shape fill, or to a thick line. To use the Fill tool in Paint, click the Fill button in the Tools button group of the ribbon to select it. To set the Fill tool's color, Click the Color 1 button in the Colors button group to select it. Then click to select the desired fill color from the smaller color circle choices that appear to its right. Then click into the image canvas to flood the area at which you clicked with the selected fill color, stopping at any adjacent color's border if one is available. The Color Picker tool in Paint lets you quickly select a color from the image canvas to set as the Color 1 choice. To use the Color Picker tool in Paint, click the Color Picker button in the Tools button group of the ribbon. Then click to select the color in the image canvas to set as the Color 1 choice. 
When you do that, the color is selected and the active tool reverts to the previously selected tool. To add text to an image in Paint, click the Text button in the Tools button group in the ribbon. To set the text color, click the Color 1 button in the Colors button group to select it. Then click to select the desired text color from the smaller color circle choices that appear to its right. Then click into the image at the point where you want the left end of the text to appear. This will make a small text box for the text and place an insertion mark into the text box. Type the text you want the text box to contain. A small text toolbar appears in Paint at this point. You can select text if needed, and then click the buttons and dropdowns in this toolbar to format the selected text as when formatting text in WordPad. To apply the current Color 2 choice as the background fill of the text box, check the Background Fill checkbox in this toolbar. Like shapes, text is inserted as a vector-based object. To resize the text box if needed, place your mouse pointer over one of the resizing handles at its sides and corners that corresponds to the direction in which you want to resize it until your mouse pointer arrow turns into a double-pointed arrow. Then click and drag in the directions of the arrows to increase or decrease its size. Then release it when it is the desired size. To move the text box if needed, place your mouse pointer over the border of the text box any place where there is not one of the resizing handles. Your mouse pointer will turn into a four-pointed arrow when you are in the correct location. At that point, click and drag to move the text box within the image. To confirm the text placement in the image file after moving and resizing it if needed, click outside of the text box to set its location in the image file. Once you deselect the text box in Paint, it becomes part of the bitmap canvas and you can no longer move or resize it as a vector object any longer. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.